ask the easy question here. What attracted you to do a film like Life in a Year? Why did you want to do so, that? So, um, so I guess the story starts with in, in Poland, I was just, I just did two biggest franchises. Well, you know, one is Letters to Santa, Planet Single. So yeah. convenient. I have them on my posters here. Right? <laughs> um, and, you know, the, one was like the fifth biggest um, uh, movie of in, in the last 30 years of Polish history. And the other one was the 10th biggest. And so my, um, my Polish agent met this, uh, my manager, Melinda Jason. She gave her the films she met with, with her friends at Gersh. They watched it and said, we want to represent you. And I said, oh, great. Awesome. And the first script they sent me, the first one was Life in a Year. And I'm like, and I read it, I cried at the end, and I'm like, whoa, uh, this is great. If every script I get in, you know, in, in, in Hollywood is going to be as good as this one, uh, this is going to be awesome. Uh, yeah, the next hundred, they weren't that good. So, so, you know, I was lucky that the first one that I got was really amazing. Don't tell anyone. But the first one was, was, was great. And it was, you know, Life in a Year. And and um, as I said, I, I, I read it, I, I, I cried at the end, and I love to cry at movies. I, I just, that's the best thing that could happen to me. You know, sometimes I watch a movie and I, and I cry and I'm like, shit, I want to cry more. So I try to find another movie that, that's going to bring me to crying, which that never happens. But it is, uh, it, it's a cleansing moment. Um, and both of my films that I did in Poland uh, made a lot of people cry. They're called, I call them dramedies, they call them romantic comedies, so they can sell them easier, but people, you know, love, uh, love to cry, you know, uh, once I even had, um, there's a moment in the film when the two people kiss and it's a silence, and in Slovenia when we had a screening, the whole cinema started kissing, which was the best moment of my life, and I said, at that moment, I said, I think I made a bunch of babies because they all went home, they were in love and they had sex and made babies. So, so I like to, to make emotional things that, that touch people, make people cry, uh, you know, and so, you know, that was the obvious. I was like, yeah, this made me cry. Of course, it's not perfect, the script, um, but I love the ending and I love the beginning. And then in the middle, I said, I have a bunch of ideas. And then, you know, my agents were like, Mitya, don't just tell all of your ideas at once. They're, you're going to scare them. Because, you know, in, in Hollywood, agents are afraid of Eastern European directors. They think mm -hmm. they're like, I, I don't know if you watched Entourage with yeah, yeah, this German yeah. director. Uh, I don't know what his name was, but, you know, they imagine us like that. They will come and say, this all sucks. I'm going to change everything, destroy it, you know. And so they were like, Mitya, no, just tell them what is the most important thing you want to change. And... And then I talked to the producer and, and that was a good advice because as I told him, I, I want to um, add this road trip, which was not in the film. And, and, and then late, we, we went, I met with the writers, Jeff and Will, and together for two years, we were re rewriting it. Um, and of course I put much more ideas in, not just that road trip. And so then after two years, it was, uh, I was like, oh, this is awesome. I want this, we have to make this. Um, so yeah, maybe that's a long, uh, answer. <laughs> so, so it's not a year. It's, it's, it was three years of your life. <laughs> oh, no, this was, I think five years of my life, even, I think. Oh, wow. So it was life, life in five years, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because we were writing two years, then we we're filming in one year and then it took a while to, to get out, uh, uh because of so many things happened, uh, in, 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 um, in the meantime, except for example, coronavirus and stuff, you know. You know what? I I, I love this movie is because you're right. It did make me cry at the end, and I rarely cry at uh, at romance movies. I, I don't I don't know how you pulled it off, but you did. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I I as I said, I I, I love I love when and and you know and for example, we we did uh we did um uh. Later on, we did um, uh, script reading, and and I guess this was a team. This crying thing was a team. You know, this is the first time I also met uh, Will Smith, who executive produced the film. I, I met in person uh, Jaden, Cara, everybody came there, and you know, while we were reading, again towards the end of the film, 
I turned to my right and I said, oh, shit, Will Smith is crying. It, just one thing, excuse my French. I, you know, we in East Europe, we just sometimes say things that are not very correct and, you know, some swear words or whatever. So it's, it's all unintentional. But anyway, so I, I look, I look to right, oh shit, Will Smith's crying. This is, you know, firstly, I said, that means he likes it. The script is great, uh, you know. Secondly, I was like, I love working with people that have emotions because th then we can talk. For me in the movies, the most important thing is emotions, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Logic comes second. Uh, when I have to pick a logic ending or like a intellectual ending, it's a better word. And uh, between intellectual ending and the emotional one, I always go for the emotional one. And, and so I, I saw, oh, okay. Uh, great he's uh he's enjoying it you know because it was total stress for me like i come from east europe bill smith's a huge star and I, i'm just sitting there three three seats for me and like pretending it's a normal day for me but it wasn't you know so so and now but he was crying so i was like okay he likes it this is great um and um uh, then uh then we uh but but, but then i almost ruined it later when we, we had a meeting afterwards and he had some ideas and I forgot, I'm so passionate about projects, I forgot that he's Will Smith and I'm starting um, debating and uh, my side of the story, I, I get really excited, I'm, you know, totally in it. But, so that's how it looked from my side, but from their side, there, you know, it looked like there's a Russian general screaming at them because of my English, you know, like, uh, it's all, it's not very, it's not a gentle because I have this accent, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so they thought, oh, why is he screaming? And I'm like, no, 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 I'm just passionate. Well, they didn't say that. Later on, I, my, my other producer, Clarence Hammond, Hammond said, ah, oh, Mitya, Will thought you didn't listen to him, uh, you know, and uh, uh, th that you were screaming at him. I'm like, no, 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 Clarence. And Clarence is like, I know, I know you. You were just passionate. But that's how I am. I like in five minutes, I forgot who I was talking to, uh, but, but at the end, uh, uh, they probably liked that I was passionate about the project. I think if you want to work with people, you want them to have your own, their own opinion and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so, so I guess, uh, you know, I cried when I was uh, reading the script. I cried, uh, Will cried, and the whole script reading room cried. So it was, you know, and then... I said, hopefully, uh, the audience and the audience will also cry when watching the film. So uh, that, that that would be my biggest wish. And and when we did the test screening, that's what exactly what happened. You know, when people start searching for the uh, tissues, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. So and even now, after a while, I, I, when I show the film to someone, they it's 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 eighty percent crying. So it's good. <laughs> You know your English is uh, very good um, that I, I'm that I'm finding. So, so what was it? A it wasn't a significant struggle on production, right? No, it's more like uh, it, it's more like when you when it's not your main language, you can say many politically incorrect stuff, not meaning them, not knowing that that's the you can't say that. And so basically, J, J, everybody. But Jaden and Kara, they were always like, oh, Mitya, you can't say that. And I'm like, why? You know, because I didn't know. And they had to explain it to me. So it was more like cultural, more than, you know. Uh, so it was sometimes like, I can't say, why can, why can I not say that? Can I say that? Oh, okay. So it was, they had to explain it to me. Uh, and they were face palming all the time, you know. Um, but basically, because of that, they, they were laughing all the time. I'm like, oh, this, our director is so hilarious you know but uh so no 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 english lang listen in movies language is not important the cinematic language is universal um uh, you know people fall in love in uh, and hate each other the same in slovenia in america in thailand wherever they they love and hate each other and and most of the movies is about that love and hate so or or you know uh any kind of romantic it's it's always like that so so it, 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 it and i learned listen i i came from slovenia i come from slovenia which is a two million country you basically have two directors and you're speaking with one of them and one of them is probably gonna you know uh die so because he's old so i'm joking now obviously but you know it's that small we are hello 
Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you in mute? Yeah. No, I'm here. Because I can't hear you. Uh, okay. So, okay. so we're that small. We're that small. And, and, and uh, like, like uh, I went when I was 25 years old, I went to Poland not knowing the language at all. So that was much worse than I always spoke English, but Poland, I was like, oh, where am I? You know, so, and when I came there um, and I was on the set and the actors were acting, I knew what they were saying while they were on the script, when, when they, but when they start improvising, I was like, uh, and they said something funny and the whole crew started laughing except the director. And I'm like listening to the assistant who's translating it to me and the director starts laughing Three minutes later, they think, oh shit, our director is a little bit slow, you know? But, but then I realized it, 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 that's not important. It's important, it's what between the words, you know? Mm. Um, the, the emotions, the, the what's in the eyes, because what actors, what you, the good movies is, is in the eyes, not in the words, you know? If, for example, sometimes you can say, I hate you, but in the eyes you can see, I love you. So it's, so I realized already with the language I didn't know at all when two people are talking, you know, no, 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 Something happened. There was emotion. There was, words don't matter. And also I realized, you know, how to, how to work with, with that, not with knowing the language. And, and in, so, but it was so much easier in, in first in America, because English is my kind of second language. And then also because I had amazing actors. So, you know, it's, it's so easy to work with people like Kara and Jaden. you know, they, they are awesome. So, so it was easy. And plus I had amazing producers, which mm -hmm. were always by my side if I needed them. So easy. Now you did, in Poland, you did uh, what you call romantic comedies. Was it hard to transition to change into a very serious drama uh, romance, like like a uh, life in the year. Well, uh, as I said, so uh, when I was hired on the first one, I, we all similarly to life in a year, we we changed the script. Like for two years, we were rewriting, or a year, I, I can't remember. But but what, what I got was a romantic comedy. But what I gave back, the executive at the the, the, the studio here said. Yeah, we can't film this. This is this is not a romantic comedy anymore. And I said, listen, you're the biggest studio in Poland. Just write it on the poster that it's a romantic comedy and everybody's gonna believe it. And that's what they did. But but basically we've we've introduced much more emotions, much, much more drama. Um, and the way it usually works with all of my movies are similar. Life in Here is not, not that much um, different than those two films. Uh, it's very... Um, uh, for the first 50 minutes you're laughing like you know or the first half of the movie you're laughing but then it gets so serious and then you're crying at the end so it's and here it's similar you have those friends you know Darren's friends they're funny uh, and this is when we test screened the film for example 400 people it was funny how they they went from laughing to oh shit I'm almost crying laughing almost crying. even even towards the end where it gets really emotional, there were still, there were moments where they were crying, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's what I like to do, a roller coaster, crying, laughing, yeah. crying, laughing, you know, uh, which are the most, two most important emotions in life. So, so, it, uh, to, so it's a long answer, but it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't difficult because it was the same thing. I think every good movie needs drama. Dramaturgy, I don't know if that's a word in English, but, but, but you need those two. And uh, um, even horror, e every movie needs that. And then, uh, and then by default, I'm funny. The writers are funny. So it's always gonna be funny, you know? Uh, even when it's such a serious subject as uh, teenage ovarian cancer, you know? Yeah. So um, what's the difference between directing in, in Poland and here in the United States to you? Uh, well, from, from one side, you, uh, the, the, the actors and the producers are much more experienced and I learned much more from them than I learned here, for example. It's like, you know, it's, 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 it was an amazing cooperation with, with those. The, the, but the, the other side is everything is a little more complicated. Like you have five people for every job 
where, where in Poland, one person does the job of those five people, you know? Um, and um, yeah, so many restrictions, uh, especially when you make a studio, it's oh, everything has to be, you know, for example, many times I just said, okay, let's take a camera, Kara, Jaden, jump in the car and just go film, you know, like the road trip. And they said, uh, we can do that. Like, why? Well, we need security, we need this, we need makeup. And all of a sudden you have 20 trucks coming there. And you go, yeah, but but now we've wasted so much time, energy and on all this, where while we could just, but they're, they're so afraid something's gonna happen. They want everything by the book. In Poland, we just do everything like, you know, wild, wild east, let's say, you know, it's much more, much more like, ah, nobody's gonna know if we just break a law a little bit here or there. There's no way you can do that in America, you know, it's like, I mean, like, for example, when I was, because I started with music videos and, you know, we were young and we were like, oh, we want to throw a car off the bridge, you know, and we, we didn't have money, it was no budget, you know, thing. And, and we said, oh, how are we going to do this? We asked for permission and they said bazillion dollars. And then we just found a way to throw it off quickly, uh, you know, quickly remove it and like it never happened, you know, but in America, if you do that, probably you would go to prison, you know, so, so it's, it's but it's getting, but, and also we don't have any unions, mm -hmm. um, there's no unions, so, so nothing is so strict, it's much more relaxed, uh, but at the end of the day, that nothing of that matters. The, the only thing that matters is a good script and actors and amazing uh, people to work with. And I have them here, I have them there. You know, you can find them everywhere. Um, and I think that's the most important. Yeah, I was uh, I was watching some of your music videos on your YouTube that you made like yeah. over 10 years ago. So it was, it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so you should watch one or if, you, if you're gonna do a written piece, there's a story how this movie actually was made. So, so I was, um, so after we wrote uh, the script, uh, you know, rewritten the script with Jeff and Will, uh, and we're now like, okay, now we have to make it. Uh, first thing, Jaden, this was always meant to be for a Jaden film. So he was already attached. The only thing we had to convince him is to cut his uh, dreadlocks. Uh, um, but, but, he, but he said, of course, no problem. Uh, because, you know, if you watch the film, his father would not like him having dreadlocks. It would not be an option at all. But anyway, so, so then we, we, we wanted to pick um, uh, Isabel, you know, the main female character. And, and so this I'm ashamed to admit, but I will. I didn't know. So my, my assistant told me, Mitya, Cara Delamine, she's perfect for this. And I'm like, uh, who's that? So I didn't know who she was. So, which is, I'm ashamed to admit now, but that's how it was. And he's like, you should watch these movies. And I watched the movies and I, and I wasn't immediately like convinced. I, I liked her, but I was like, yeah, you know, and yeah, and, and, and I, but I wasn't convinced. So my sister said, yeah, because they didn't use her correctly. Check these YouTube videos. And then on YouTube, you have Cara Delevingne, like funniest 10 moments, but you have like a hundred of those. And, I, when I started watching that, I was watching them all night long, falling in love with my uh, future Isabel. I was like, she's funny. She has this explosive energy. She, um, she plays drums. She, she, she beatboxes. She, she does everything. She's, she's like a multi-practic. I don't know how, just like she does everything. And I was so excited. Uh, and I'm like, oh, no, this is our Isabel. There's no other way, you know, how stupid I am for not seeing that, but also, how come nobody used her energy that way? Like, she's so honest, she's so, I love street smart people, you know, not people that go to school, learn how to act. She's from the street, like acting street, you know, like she, she knows you can learn that in school. And, and I love that. I love that uh, life, you know, unpredictability, all that. So I was so excited and, and then we sent her the script and she, she, um, she, uh, 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 we had a Skype and she was like, I love this. I'm going to shave everything. Just my eyebrows. I'm saying, like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. maybe not the eyebrows because your eyebrows are world known, probably worth more than this whole movie. Maybe not, you know, uh, but, but we liked that she was so 100% uh, on board. Um, and the only thing 
I told her um, uh, that, that I'm worried is because she was like four or five years older than, than Jaden. And I didn't want it to be like an older sister, you know, mm. but she, 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 um, she took that to heart. And I didn't even realize until the last day of shooting when we said over and she went to her, you know, uh, trailer and came back and started speaking like somebody completely different. I'm like, who, who, who's this? And what did you do with uh, Kara? But the question I should be asking is who's this? And what did you do with Isabel? Because she became an actual teenager, you know, she became an actual teenager. And I, I, I was like, you she method acting, I guess. She went totally Stanislavski on us and she became a teenager so that when at the end of the movie she switched back to old Kara, she, I, I, I was like, I want the Isabel back because I was living with her for months, you know. So anyway, we now, we now had Jaden, we now had Kara. And so now it was hard to convince people to make this film immediately because, because um, they made Fault in Our Stars, which was, which was a huge hit. But then after that, that, they made a bunch of films that didn't do that good, a bunch of you know, movies like that with, with love and, and sickness in it, it you know, um, and they didn't do that good. So it was hard to convince them. So at that point, it's a long story, sorry. At that point, uh, uh, this band in Poland came to me. It's called, they called Be My. They had a song, Oxygen, and said, would you do a music video for us? And I said, uh, probably nobody has money anymore for music videos. How much money do you have? They said five thousand dollars. I said, no, I'm not gonna. I, it's, I when I do something, I die for it. I'm so passionate. I almost die on every project. It's not worth it to do it again. But then I listen to the song and I'm like, oh shit, this is awesome song. This is, it's 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 about the movie. It's like uh, you know, it's about life in a year in a way. It's like you know, give me oxygen so I can fly again and stuff like that. And I, and I called Clarence, my producer said, Clarence, can I do a music video based on the script, Life in a Year? And, and um, you know, uh, I do like a five minute version of that, which is gonna be like a sizzle trailer that, that we can sell movie mm. later on, you know? So yeah, of course. So we went to Cyprus for $5,000 already, the plane tickets were 2003 and we did it Total guerrilla style, uh, you know. Uh, we hired this young actress, and and the main singer was playing the main role. So no Cara Jaden, obviously, but but we did like a five five minutes uh, life in a year version. And from that moment on, whenever we went on a meeting with people that were interested in the project and were you know interested in investing in the project, um, if there were some women in that uh, group they were usually crying at the end of that music video and they said, oh, okay, so it's gonna be like that, the film? Yes, okay, so we are very interested now, you know? And so that music video helped for everybody to get even more excited about uh, the project and, uh, and it was easier to get then Sony on board, Columbia Pictures and, and to make the film. Um, so wow. uh, that was a long story from the music video uh, uh, <laughs> cue that you gave. That's fine. I mean, um, speaking of music, you had uh, Jaden do a lot of rapping. Um, how talented was he with, with rapping and um, who's, who's rap songs, who wrote those rap songs in the film? So, so if, if, if basically, um, if Kara went method acting on Isabel, Jaden did the exact same with Darren. So if she downgraded herself age-wise, you know, he downgraded himself musically because Jaden musically is much further, like he's, you know, he's awesome now. Like he's, uh, he's not Darren. He, Darren is uh, in the movie is somebody who's just starting. He's not even started. He, he loves hip hop and he loves to rap now and then. And, and then Isabel breaks that, probably so I don't spoil anything, but I'll try not to. But she she brings that passion out of him so that, you know, she brings that passion out, out of him for him to realize that maybe what he's doing in life is not what he wants to do for the rest of the life. Uh, and and maybe he, he should be doing something else. And 
and and so so this Darren, he's not a, a super rap star, you know, who makes amazing stuff. You can't. That would be fake if we would use what Jaden is doing now with music mm. and say he's he's that talented. That that wouldn't be a true story, you know. That wouldn't be real. So it's amazing how Jaden kind of downgraded himself and said, so it's not he wrote the songs, he made the songs, but but he basically wrote them and made them like Darren would. So a little bit, little bit naive, little bit like like a, a young, fresh, young teenager would do it. Naive, you could almost say infantile, but that's a bad word. So naive is better, I guess. And but that they still have something, that they still have passion, talent in it. You can see that he's talented, and that that you know, the real producers would notice that and say, oh, okay, we can work with this, but you'll have to work really hard in your life. Um, so, so, so he did an amazing job uh, downgrading his musical talent to the level of our character, Darren. And, and you know, that's, they both went Stanislavski on me, you know, <laughs> method acting all the way. Um, but yeah, he wrote them uh, with his crew, uh, Omar and and you know then um, uh, this Taylor girl sang the the chorus in the last song which which I really like uh, yeah. it's cute you know it's um, and uh, yeah uh, they that's how yeah you know it's I already have an idea for the sequel where he would actually become Jaden you know what I mean Darren would become Jaden that's that's uh, that would be a good sequel. <laughs> but first people have to watch this one and everybody has to get excited about this one yeah, yeah. it's it's that's amazing that you had a, you already have a sequel in mind um yeah. but for the chemistry between um Jaden and Kara did you have have them develop their chemistry before the production or is that all nat natural uh method acting from them so they know, knew each other from bef from before and they liked each other and they have this amazing, they're both street kids. I, I don't know if that's the right way to say, it. you know, they just jokes, jokes, you know, energy, just so amazing. So I think for this movie, we met on script reading and then we had one rehearsal and then one more before the shooting. So we, we didn't do much. Uh, they're just naturals and, um, uh, you know, uh, so the, 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 they just both loved the script and they both loved working with each other, you know, they were, there was, it was laughter all the time, you know, there was jokes all the time, was music all the time on the set, it was really fun, um, it, it was, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky to be working with them, to have <laughs> been working with them, to have had worked with them, one of those is correct. <laughs> Sounds like you had a really awesome time. Do you want to direct another American movie again? I just want to direct movies. Uh, you know, we, as I said, language is not important, but obviously, you know, because uh, American or English or even Australian actors, they, they, they are amazing. Plus those movies travel easier because English movies just travel easier. Uh, and I just want to touch, that's a wrong word. I just want to, uh, I don't know what's the right word, but I just want to touch people uh, emotionally uh, uh, all over the world as much as possible. So, you know, English is the easiest way to do it. Uh, but as I said, nowadays, for example, Netflix, Amazon, and all this, they they search for local stories that can travel. And people are like, oh, what does the, do these Germans do? What do these Polish people do? You know, what, what are they interested in? How do the teenagers are living there? So, but yeah, to answer your question, obviously, if the only thing that's important is good script, that's, you know, and people that you work with, that they're not assholes, that's, uh, you know, <laughs> but, you know. Now, um, one, one last thing, this film, what I liked about it is, is that there was a, there was a list of bucket list basically, you know, yeah, yeah, things, yeah, yeah. To, things to do with, within the year. What What is on your bucket list? It's funnily enough, my biggest bucket list was making a film in Hollywood, you know? Now, when I, when I was a kid, I'm like, I, it, was it was unimaginable to even do that at some point in the future. It was like, that's never going to happen. 
you know, well, never say never, it happened. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm happy now, I'm, I'm fulfilled. It's just, uh, it took a while to do, for the movie to get out, but that's, that was my main, I, I, you know, and then my main, main list on the bucket list, I guess, my main, main point on the bucket list was doing that. Um, and uh, as, as for my personal life, I, I, I wanted to have a child. So my child was, my first child was born a month ago. Cool. Congratulations. And then, uh, yes, yeah, thank you. And so that's one wish came through one month ago. This month, uh, you know, another wish is going to come through with, with another baby coming out, which is life in a year. And then uh, in December, another film comes out. So I'll have three babies in, the, in, in three months. So, so that's, I guess, uh, everything happens for a reason and everything is good for something. You know, like... We were frustrated. Why is it not being released a year ago or whatever? You know, sometimes you have to wait. You know, all good things to those who wait or all good things to those who work their ass off. So, you know, and the good thing is, even if the film waited to be released, even after so many years, it still works. You, people watch it, cry, they, it touched. You watched it now and it was made, you know, three years ago. So uh, it's, it's, it's great how universe works in mysterious ways. Or some people say God, or you know, whatever, whatever you believe in, uh, they always have a plan, and and uh, I like how this plan turned out. So that the all three babies all come out at once, I guess, metaphorically speaking. You and know what? Concrete. I I think per personally, I think you you're having a good 2020 year. So <laughs> yeah, it's funny, yeah. So every it's kind of uh, it's kind of you feel like like an asshole for saying I have a great year uh, where everybody's suffering so much, you know, either from the disease or from uh, lockdowns, which are also, you know, people can do what they love. They can go out, but, but yeah, it's, it's, but I, but you know, I guess, yeah, I'm sorry. I have a great year. Sorry, <laughs> but, but not sorry because it's so much fun. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, you know what? I've taken a lot of your time already. I, I've really enjoyed this conversation. You, you, yeah. you are a very good person to talk to. So I, I, I like to say, Mitya, I, I yeah. like that I finally met you. So that, that, was, that was great. It was nice to meet you, Mitya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time. We, we should do this again, all right? Yeah, always. I added you on Instagram, so now we're friends on Instagram. I, well, at least I'm following you. I'm your follower. Now. I, I will yeah. follow you back. All right. <laughs> uh, th thank you for your time. Thank you for watching the film and looking forward to reading, watching whatever you put together. I, I will. Hey, thank you very much. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.